So this is what. Oh. Most of it. Oh my god. I see everything. Wow. One shade. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new, my name is Anushka. So today we are going to be playing with a little bit of makeup, but mostly we're going to be testing out the new Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush bronzer, which is humongous. So it's the size of my head, along with the L'Oreal Back to Bronze um, bronzer. I got a few things to say about this one. I also have the new Urban Decay palette. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a cool look today. Oh, and by the way, I'm so hyped up about my new necklaces I found. So this one is Mauritius and this is India. I got it from this website called Kioni. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the website right. I love it. And it's so hard. You don't even know. Like I've even searched on Amazon. It's not easy to find necklaces that, um, that have the Mauritian island on it. Um, like nicely cut out. Um, but also is easily available and at a good price. And I think these were like $17.99 each, which is quite affordable. Um, they're like stainless steel, so they're not supposed to like rust or change colour or anything. They're gold plated and they're just the cutest thing ever. Like, I'm not going to wear them all the time, but I love... <laughs> I love them so much and I know there's a lot of you Mauritians that watch me so if you guys want to grab this Mauritian necklace I definitely recommend it because we got a rep you know so today's post notification shout out is going to go to Maya's Adventures so thank you so much for subscribing and for leaving the sweetest comment I love that you went to Flick on Flack which is one of my favorite beaches of all time from like childhood basically um if you guys want to get a post notification shout out all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know when you've done so in the comments below Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to use is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. This is actually quite new. This was gifted to me, but it is so lush. Obviously, it's a high-end lip balm. Do you really need it in your life? No, there's so many lip balms. And I can name a ton that are like available in boots that are like a quarter of the price of this one. But I love to splurge on stuff. This feels lovely on the lips, like I can't explain it. It's got a slight baby pink tint and it just, I just love it. And it makes your lips look extra plump. It kind of reduces the lines that I have on my lips. It's good, like I really do like this. And would I repurchase this? For sure, like this is so, so nice and it feels luxurious on the lips. I, I That's what I want to say. Do you need it? No, but is it nice to have yes because it's extra luscious i'm okay for a moisturizer but i'm gonna put some concealer this is my nars radiant creamy concealer now i'm using the biscuit one so biscuit is the shade that i use um which is a bit lighter and caramel was the one i used when i way back when i started my channel um like this was the only concealer i would use in all my videos because it was the only one i had i love this concealer it's so good and i actually now have i was actually sent these they now have minis how cute like this would be perfect for traveling um so i have macadamia so i can do extra highlighting ginger have i tried ginger and i've got caramel I might actually give ginger a go. Now for the exciting part, we've got the Urban Decay Ultraviolet. I love the colour scheme because if you didn't know, if you have brown eyes, purple or violet shades are perfect for brown eyes. Like it really makes them pop. And so I'm really excited to just do like an effortless look. This is what the palette looks like. It's so gorgeous. And these are the shades. I wish there was a deep matte purple in there. Like that's just one feedback I would give for this palette. There's a lot of shimmers. But because there's a lot of shimmers, I'm tempted to go for like, like that kind of like model glamorous look. Not that I'm a model, but you know what I mean, right? I think of the first shade that's, that I'm really, really drawn to right now is the shade Cyberpunk. And I'm just going to press this all over the lid. I'm just going to use a really fluffy brush just to really, I don't want any harsh lines. I want this to be really blown out. Like, yes, it's shimmer, but when it's like really blown out, it looks so effortless. And I'm just bringing it out. Now I'm going to take the shade VR with my finger and I'm just going to lightly 
pack this on. It's like a holographic shade. It. I just feel like when it comes to colour, I need a bit of water. We're so focused on like having that intense pigment, these bold, bold looks, but we also forget that we can do really like wearable, effortless looks with colour. And I feel like this palette is for this. The everyday woman that wants to wear a bit of colour to a wedding without spending hours on it, I would recommend this palette. Now I'm just taking the shade Optimize, which is a pretty, pretty light look. And we're just going to use this on the edges just to like help blend that purple. I'm just going to pack a bit of purple dust on the outer corner here. Now this is a shimmery shade, like a metallic shade, but it's working perfectly just to give like a bit of shadow. But I love like the versatility of it, like you've got your everyday shadows. Um, but then I feel like for deeper, deeper skin tones, the amount of shadows that will appear deeply on the skin is very limited. Like you would like, I feel like only these shades will like look really pretty. These will definitely be more on the lighter side. Like this probably cannot be used even on me as a crease color. So I feel like they could have put like a matte deep, deep purple in it for sure. Cause then it could have been used as like a liner or just to give again definition in the crease. I'm actually gonna take some of the darker shade in the palette, which is digital. It's actually like a metallic brown. It's like a little bit of a sheen to it. Now I'm just gonna take this and really focus this on my liner, on my lash line. Oh my God, you guys really loved the French makeup tutorial. So I'll definitely try and incorporate more languages well like language videos because i know you guys love them so much like i didn't even think you guys would love the french one i mean i wish that brown was a bit darker to be honest but overall i like how this is looking it's so sultry and like soft oh there's definitely some fallout for sure i'm glad i didn't do my base first so for foundation i'm using the la girl pro coverage hd foundation in the shade tan just gonna use this with a brush now this foundation does go on a bit light and oxidizes so don't worry if it's looking a little pale i'm just literally using the residue on the brush to do my forehead right now ginger will be a little bit light for me yeah definitely really light but it's so cute I'm just going to go in with a little bit of caramel. This is the Huda Beauty Conceal and Blend brush and it's one of my favourite concealer brushes. Okay, so it's starting to come together. Now I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to press this under the eyes. Oh my god, so for all my people who love Grey's Anatomy, right, we're sad because there's none, like, we want more Grey's Anatomy and I actually, there's so many seasons and I think I've watched mostly all of it and... It's like one of my all time favorite shows, like from a young age. The other day my sister was watching something, she started a new show and it's called Station 19 on Amazon. Oh my God, it's basically Grey's Anatomy, but fire station, basically fire guards, firefighters. That's what you call them here in the UK. <laughs> but it's so cool. It's, I, I would even say like, it's so intense, sometimes more intense than Grey's Anatomy. And actually actors from, and um, the Grey's Anatomy appear in the in the show and oh my god it just brings so many memories my sister's gone through it all I'm still in, I'm on season two episode one it's so 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 good like if you love Grey's Anatomy you need to watch station 19 it's so good like I I'm so happy I have a show that I can binge watch now I'm gonna lightly go in I'm gonna go with a more compact brush and I'm gonna use the cyberpunk shade and I'm just really going to press this closely to the lash line. Okay guys, I've been obsessed with the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. Like, hands down, it's like 
becoming one of my like all-time favorites i haven't touched my maybelline lash sensational since i've had this it's so so good now just before i go on to mascara i'm gonna use some of the huda beauty life liner and i'm just gonna use this to give some more you know like deepness sultriness please tell me you see a difference like it just frames the eye okay now we can go with our mascara i love to go with the volume side first i'm not gonna lie like if she came out with just the volume side in a full like like just on its own i wouldn't be mad now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the curl side i really like blink on the brush sometimes when i edit my videos i have a bad habit of like going like talking then finishing my phrase like two minutes later like it's so annoying when you're editing just to finish off the eyes i'm really tempted to take that lime green it's just been eyeing me this whole time oh my god stop it I thought it would be matte, but it's actually a really bright metallic shade. It just looks so effortless. I love it. Okay, now onto the bronzers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I did not expect it to be this huge. Obviously, Charlotte Tilbury gets 10 out of 10 for packaging. And this is the bronzer. It's so beautiful. Like, the shade is perfect for me. I've got number three in tan. And it comes with a huge mirror. Like, huge. This will be perfect if you're travelling. Because, like, you've got, like, this bronzer. This huge bronzer. And, like, a massive mirror that comes with it. Oh, my God. I see everything. So, obviously, this is new. It's a matte bronzer for medium skin tones for the appearance of a sun-kissed glowing goddess complexion. I don't understand why it's for medium skin tones only. I mean, I'm more... I feel like with bronzers, like, it's okay to have less shades, but four. I just think for a big brand, they could definitely do a bit better. I just, I can already think of YouTubers that I watch that have deeper complexions that I don't really see. Like, if I were to use it on them, I just feel like it wouldn't show up. And it's happened to me a few times on counter, like, even working for Bobbi Brown. Like, yes, they have a lot of bronzers, but when it went to, like, the deeper, darker side, like, for deep deep complexions like it does not show up so like you need to have that option available like i feel like if fenty beauty can do it charlotte tilbury can do it too okay four shades come on i love charlotte tilbury right but i thought there'd be more to be honest they're 39 pounds it's ex it's a lot and what shade did i get i got tan which is number three obviously but so there's four I i'm just i can't comprehend that right now but we'll try this i mean i did purchase it because honestly i've heard only good things about it i don't even want to dip my brush in it i just feel like this is applying so nicely like i mean i'm really really happy with how this is blending how soft it's applying it's definitely more on the warm side for sure but that's how i really like my bronzers i see myself honestly using this all summer because it's i love like i'm applying this with a big brush and it's just applying so buttery so smoothly like there's not even any harsh lines it's just a shame like i just feel like if anyone from the charlotte tilbury team is watching i don't know if they are they need to add some more shades to this. I think the light bronzer is not too bad, but I think they could add two more deeper shades in. At least two. Oh my god, it's hyaluronic acid infused, smoothing, pore blurring, um, can use, be used on the body. The shade is perfect for fair skin tones to create a, an appearance of a soft Mediterranean inspired sun-kissed complexion. Yeah, so apart from the shade range, this is bomb. Like, just off the bat, like, it's so soft. It blended like a dream and I actually really really like the shade. You know my sister was looking at this and she was like Wow. Wow. Okay, so now on to the next one. I was actually quite disappointed when I saw this when it came. So I got the L'Oreal back to bronze to compare with the um, Charlotte Tilbury one. I haven't seen this at all. I don't know if it's new um, and it, I realize 
it comes in one shade and this looks like it's my skin tone how are you gonna have one bronzer one shade honestly i can't tell if this is new but it's on their website and there's one shade and the problem with this though is that in pictures it appears way darker than what it is in real life this is not for tan dark skin tone definitely not dark deep skin tones but i don't even know if i want to put this on we'll try it i don't even know if it will show up oh we're getting something we're getting something i'm actually quite shocked that we're actually getting some color right now it's very 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 subtle and i'm having to really dip my my brush into the pan and there's a lot of dust flicking everywhere that i'm noticing i'm going to use some of my charlotte tilbury bronzer to bronze up my nose i mean i can see some bronzing on my l'oreal side but i'm just gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury one okay because it is beautiful Okay, off the bat, I love this. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because I'm really disappointed by the shade range. They can definitely add more, like there's no excuse for, for, I can't lie, the formula of this bronzer is bomb. And I'm not gonna lie, it made my skin so, look like, look extra soft. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of blush. I'm using my Patricia Bright You Are Gold face palette and I'm just gonna grab the blush in this palette and I'm just gonna, just lightly brush down my cheeks and then for highlights I'm going to use my Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer I actually want to keep my lips bare so I'm going to put more of the um, Silk Balm I want the focus to be on my eyes okay so this is the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of review video um, I've done some like videos where I've compared bronzers in the past so I thought I'd try another one I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty disappointed in the L'Oreal one like it's definitely more on the powdery side I was able to get some color after packing so much on and I can't justify the fact that they only have one shade like that is poor poor zero for effort it's a shame because I really like the life's uh, peach blush but again why isn't there like different shades why is there just one i don't get it i do hope that they do come across this video or the charlotte tilbury team does because i definitely feel like it would be such a hit if they had deeper deeper shades available like it just would have made the release even better like just to have those extra darker shades in because i think with the tan medium shades it's covered like we just need maybe maybe even like one extra deep shade you know or two i feel like two would be perfect i'm gonna stop rambling obviously i got my point across i hope you guys enjoyed this look i actually really enjoy playing around with the urban decay ultraviolet palette and funny enough i actually like see myself i, I want to wear this to like a dinner with my husband like it's so effortless like i feel like he would love this look yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little video um and if you want more like this let me know in the comments below please 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 give this video a thumbs up and comment because it actually helps the video reach um new people so that they can join our family because we're growing slowly it's amazing like i'm so excited guys i have some really exciting news that will be coming very very soon i'm gonna have a cake video as well very soon because i know you guys have been finding them very therapeutic and fun to watch um especially for me like i love doing them it just makes me so happy from within like in my core let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see from me and yeah i will see you in my next video